Multimedia. Welcome to our second installment of Soundation. Uh, this, in this particular assignment, we're going to create another two-minute song on our new favorite friend, Soundation. And then at that point, we are going to export that into GarageBand and create even more cool sound with it. So I'm pretty pumped up. Let's get to it. I already have Soundation up already, okay, but you're going to click on Soundation 2.0 and then instructions, the video will be in there, okay. There should be a link over that Soundation thing that will bring you right to Soundation, okay, so click on there. Okay, but I already have it up, so let's go over to that. Okay, let's, actually, let me go out and log back in. Actually, I have to log in. Okay, so, again, log in is mcourt, right? New Hope, rec.org. Okay, password is New Hope. Okay, so we're in. Okay. Okay. Now I already created a beat in here. Okay, it's not two minutes. I would like yours to again be two minutes long. Okay, but make sure again that you have at least three music loops on here. Okay. Um, also. Add an effect on there for each, for yeah, for each beat. Okay, so this first one, I'm gonna play it real quick, see what it sounds like. Okay, stop right there. Let's do distortion. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. Again, all you have to do is click and drag your mouse up. Okay, or drag it down if you want your if you want to turn down the gain. That just means more distortion, more more effect. Okay, let me turn it up. Okay, so let's see what it sounds like at about 65. Okay. Go back. Okay. I don't know if I like distortion for that one. Okay. Maybe let's try reverb. Okay, I like that one. I'm going to stick with that one. Okay, I have an equalizer on the one below that one. Okay, and then in my third channel, I have a bass. Also going to put something in there. Let's see. Phaser. Let's do it. Let's try phaser. Okay. Great. Turn that up a little bit. You can click and drag up. Okay, I'm just going to X that out when you're ready. Now, I'm just going to click on that, okay, so then when I play through it, it's only going to play that beat, okay. That's good if you're trying to put effects or something on there, and you just want to hear what that particular loop sounds like, okay, so here it comes. Okay, yeah, that's just my bass, that's just an accenter, so it's not going to really project like the other stuff, okay, but... At your two minute point, once you're done creating your awesome sound on Soundation, okay, we're going to go to File, Save As, okay, save it as first initial, last name, for me it will be M. Courtright, Soundation 2.0, okay, we'll hit Save, okay, cool, saved up properly. Okay, now, I'm just going to, I want to export this. To GarageBand and put even more exciting stuff on there. Okay, so I'm going to click on File, okay, and then Export .dot .wav file. Okay, now this is going to export the song onto our. Okay, so I just hit Save. It's going to export it to our. I'm going to put it on desktop. Okay, let's do and let's change that wave file to Soundation. 2.0, okay, save, okay, now it's up, you see it's up on our desktop there, there it is right there, it has the iTunes thing on there, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to minimize this for now, I'm going to click on that, okay, that will play now in iTunes, okay. and then, as some of you guys might remember, okay, we could pull up any iTunes song in our GarageBand using our media browser. So 
Let's just make sure it sounds okay. Oh, not really hearing anything. Okay, um, we're back. Um, I exported that one wrong. Okay, so I want to go back and show you what I did. Okay, I left that S on there. That S means solo. You got to take that off before you export. Okay, so I'm gonna tap trash that one. Okay, export that again. Okay. If we leave that S on there. It's only gonna export that one beat on there, which is no good. So save that again. Again, Soundation 2.0, save, okay. Okay, now it's up there. Okay, so, ah, there we go. Ah, excellent. Okay, so, now that it's up in iTunes, pull that up in GarageBand. Okay, again, click on our guitar on the bottom. If you don't have it on the bottom, Type it in up here. Okay, garage band. As you wait, you could hum, hum Christmas carols to yourself. That would be fine. Cancel the iLife um, 2011. Okay, so we're gonna hit create new or yeah, create new music project. Okay, foundation and GarageBand. Okay, you could save that at the end as well. We don't have to worry too much about that when we first enter GarageBand. Okay, okay. there we go. Now, okay, we want to click on our media browser. Remember, it's that um, uh, icon at the bottom right hand of the screen. Okay. And I already have iTunes up, but you want to click on iTunes, click on music, and then, okay, just making sure that's the right one. Okay. And then we want to just click, drag, and drop that in there. Now, just like our um, mixed up pledges, this is going to come in as one big song now. It's not going to be separated in the loops that it was in in Soundation. Okay, that's fine. That's We want that. So, let's get rid of our um, grand piano. Let's click edit. Okay, we'll get rid of that in a second. Okay, so now we're going to go back and Find our old loop friends there. Okay, so I want you to put let's do let's do urban. Okay. I'm gonna go synth. Okay, I'm gonna put old school funk line on there. I don't know if that sounded right, but I'm just going to leave it up there for instruction purposes. Okay. And then you're going to take these beats and then extend them along for the two minutes that this song is on there for. Okay. Again, I didn't do the two minutes. Make sure that you create your song for two minutes on Soundation. Okay. And then add three more beats or loops from GarageBand. Okay. And then we're going to, once we're finished, export this. Okay, on to um, Moodle. So, again, I want two more things like this, so I'm just going to throw something up there. Stagger it like, like so. Electric. A lot of 
of synth. A little too much synth, almost. Okay. So three beats, but again, extend these things out. I mean, you could play with them the way you want, but extend them out to the full length of the two minutes. Okay. Then we're going to hit share, export song to disc. Okay. Make sure that's MP3 quality, or yeah, MP3 in good quality. Export. Okay. Save that as. Let's do it. First initial, last name. Okay. Foundation 2.0. Okay. So what we did here, we integrated two forms of technology into one. Okay, and that's pretty cool. Let's say like you're creating something on Soundation and you might want to use a beat from GarageBand. It's great, great to use it for that. Or if you just want to export it onto a CD or an MP3. Okay, so we just learned how to export. Okay. Let's hit save. And then once you're finished with that, you'll upload it onto GarageBand. Or I'm, I'm sorry, onto Moodle. Okay. Soundation 2.0 forum. Okay. Best of luck. Hope you have fun with this. I know you will. Take care.